Sustainability is not about doing what you can do, but what we need to do. It is not about meeting one or a few goals, but reaching a complete set of goals to assure a future for coming generations and global sustainable development for all. Hi, my name is Dr. Shruti Sharma and today I am going to simplify GRI 2021 for you. Global Reporting Initiative known as GRI has played an important role during the last 25 years. GRI stands out as a true pioneer of the sustainable business movement. Its work, standards and multi-stakeholderism have become a global reference point for where business is and where it needs to be. The Global Reporting Initiative is an international independent standards organization that helps businesses, governments and other organizations understand and communicate their impacts on issues such as climate change, human rights and corruption. Since its first draft guidelines were published in March 1999, GRI's Voluntary Sustainability Reporting Framework has been adopted by multinational organizations, government, small and medium-sized enterprises, NGOs and industry groups. Over 10,000 companies from more than 100 countries use GRI. GRI thus provides the world's most widely used sustainability reporting standards. Under increasing pressure from different stakeholder groups such as governments, consumers and inv investors to be more transparent about their environmental, economic and social impacts, many companies publish a sustainability report also known as Corporate Social Responsibility or Environmental, Social and Governance, which is ESG Report. GRI Framework for Sustainability Reporting helps companies identify, gather and report this information in a clear and comparable manner. Developed by the Global Sustainability Standards Board, GSSB, the GRI standards are the first global standards for sustainability reporting and are a free public good. The GRI framework aims to enable third parties to assess environmental impact from the activities of the company and its supply chain. The most recent of GRI's reporting frameworks are the revised universal standards, which were published in October 2021 and came into effect for reporting in January 2023. The GRI Universal Standards apply to all organizations and cover core sustainability issues related to a company's impact on the economy, society and the environment. The GRI Topic Standards list disclosures relevant to a particular topic area. In 2021, GRI published the first substantial update to its Universal Standards since 2016. The new Universal Standards, GRI 1, 2 and 3, have officially replaced the previous standards beginning on January 1, 2023. However, companies are encouraged to start using them immediately. They contain significant changes regarding the reporting requirements and procedures. These new disclosures require that companies report on several aspects of their company value chain and governance as well as their materiality process including assessment of actual and potential impacts, stakeholder engagement and prioritization of topics and description of how the defined material topics are managed. GRI 2021 update replaces the former GRI 101, 102 and GRI 103 with a new foundation GRI 1, general disclosures GRI 2, and Material Topic Disclosures GRI 3. GRI 1, which is Foundation 2021, explains the purpose of GRI reporting and key concepts. It lists down the reporting principles and other specific requirements to report in accordance with the reference to GRI standards. GRI 2, the General Disclosures, the section contains information that, can, that an organization must disclose so as to give an insight into the profile and scale of the organization while providing the context of the organization's impact. Information about the organization's reporting practices and details of governance and policies is also endorsed in this section. 
GRI 3 Material Topics both 2016 and 2020 GRI definitions of materiality factored in a company's environmental, economic and social impact as well as impact on stakeholder assessment and decision making. In 2021, the GRI glossary shifted the focus of the definition of materiality. Now, material topics are those that represent the organization's most significant impacts on the economy, environment and people, including impacts on their human rights, largely removing the stakeholder from the equation. The section dwells upon the step-by-step -step procedure to identify material topics. It also contains disclosures on how the organizations arrive at its material topics. In addition, a company planning to report in accordance with the 2021 GRI Universal Standards must also describe the process by which it has determined material impacts, including how it identified its impacts and how it prioritized them for reporting based on significance. The renewed Universal Standards clearly call this out as a reporting requirement and give more guidance behind this since, in practice, disclosures on material topics through a two-dimensional matrix often lack clarity behind the methodology used to create the matrix. GRI's new Universal Standards valid from 2023 include minimum reporting requirements on human rights, due diligence and stakeholder engagements. Based on the expectation of international organizations such as the UN Guiding Principles on Business and Human Rights, the new GRI standards requires companies to state which policy commitments they have made regarding human rights and how they have embedded these commitments into their business. As far as due diligence is concerned, companies are expected to report how they perform due diligence to identify actual and potential negative impacts on their business, including their impact on human rights. For the term stakeholder engagement, companies must describe which stakeholders and experts they have consulted in the process of defining their materiality. GRI has introduced new sector standards that outline the likely material topics and associated disclosures with different business sectors. GRI requires that companies use sector standards when they are available in their sector. Companies using sector standards must include all the disclosures therein or otherwise give a valid reason for omission. To date, GRI has published three sector standards, oil and gas, coal and agriculture, aquaculture and fishing. The organization aims to have a total of 40 sector standards in the near future. To align with the new universal standards, GRI has also updated their topic standards and eliminated the groupings of 200, which was meant for economic, 300, which was meant for environmental, and 400, which was meant for social. There are now 31 separate topic standards that should be followed when reporting on material topics. Companies are required to report all disclosures from the relevant topic standards related to the impacts they have defined in the materiality process. Disclosures can be omitted with an explanation. Now, in place of the previous core and comprehensive reporting options, which allowed companies to report at two different levels of adherence to the standards, the new GRI now simply allows either in accordance with or with reference to the standards. Reporting with the reference to the standards requires including a GRI index and GRI statement of use in the report and informing GRI that a report has been published. This option is chosen if company is not able to comply with all the nine GRI reporting requirements, which include determining material topics, reporting disclosures for each topic and providing reasons for emission. Reporting in accordance with the standards is more rigorous and provides a higher degree of credibility. It requires companies to follow all nine reporting requirements. Now the requirements are requirement one, apply the reporting principles. Requirement two, 
report the disclosures in GRI 2, General Disclosures 2021. Requirement 3. Determine material topics. Requirement 4. Report the disclosures in GRI 3, Material Topics 2021. Requirement 5. Report disclosures from the GRI topic standards for each material topic. Requirement 6. Provide reasons for omission for disclosures and requirements that the organizations cannot comply with. It. Requirement 7. Publish a GRI content index. Requirement 8. Provide a statement of use. And Requirement 9. Notify GRI. Companies wishing to be in compliance with GRI in future must be aware of the new requirements which come into effect from 2023. In particular, it makes sense for companies to start thinking about the due diligence process regarding their business impacts, including on human rights and their process for assessing material topics, including their engagement with stakeholders. In conclusion, the Global Reporting Initiative, GRI, is an invaluable tool for organizations committed to sustainable business practices. The GRI 2021 framework simplifies reporting while increasing relevance and alignment with global standards. By embracing GRI and incorporating sustainability into their DNA, businesses can not only succeed in the present, but also contribute to a more sustainable future for all. Thank you.